So when we're going through the storm environment, since there is a lot going on, we try to divvy up the responsibilities of the flight station between the three of us. So David Keith on controls, and he's focusing on keeping the aircraft straight and level as much as possible, dealing with those side winds. Chris Wood, who's the co-pilot at that point, is backing him up, making sure he's on airspeed, on track, on altitude. My job is to just maintain airspeed at 210 knots. So I'm somewhere in between 200 and 220. So if I'm faster than 220, I pull back on the power levers. Uh, I'll announce that to David. David would then pull up the aircraft to nose it up to try to slow us down. If we're too slow and I have max power set and we're still not speeding up, then David will nose down the aircraft to help us increase speed. So we're trying to maintain that 210 at all times. How many times did you go through that eye wall? Four passes. Uh, the video was the second pass, which was the one where we delayed in the eye wall to figure out what's going on. Is that normal to delay like that? Tell me what happened there. Helene had a massive eye. Uh, I think it was like 20 plus miles long. Um, so we were able to actually do some circles in there. And it is common for us to circle in the eye, the eye itself. And the reason we do that is, one, to give the crew a break. Uh, so we, we, we tend to circle up in the eye just to give people that break, go use the restroom, go get some food, snacks. What was the feeling when you kind of came through the eye wall at that point and turned around and had that smile? Uh, as I said, as a flight engineer, I'm there for all the emergencies. So when something goes wrong, if, if I start panicking, they start panicking. So I, I'm usually very level-headed and mindful, but that was just a general reaction that I couldn't control. That was just like, dang. Do you always wear the engineer hat? Something tells me this is like your signature look. <laughs> uh, it is. It's, it's a few of us, but here's a, the train conductor hat. Nice. Um, so I got this hat <laughs> when I got qualified as a, a flight engineer in the Navy uh, back in 2013. And I, I try to wear it every single chance I get. Sometimes uh, I wear a different hat uh, because people ask me to wear it. So I'll, I'll wear the hat through the storm and I'll give it to them as a gift. So 